Welcome to Great Chefs of the World, a culinary survey featuring premier chefs from around the globe. The appetizer is prepared in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Dali Irajun is owner-chef of an upscale namesake restaurant in the Palermo Chico neighborhood. Her first course is rabbit, which is dealt with like a confit and served as a salad. For the entree, we travel to Honolulu, Hawaii, and Alan Wong's popular restaurant. He cooks a favorite Hawaiian fish, onaga, or pink snapper, with a ginger crust. Then for dessert, we go to Vienna, Austria, and the original Doe & Co. restaurant. Pastry chef Rudolf Swonar offers what he calls baked figs. Dali Irajun is a pronounced force in the Buenos Aires food scene. Visiting chefs invariably hobnob with her, and restaurant Dali is a hot item in town. She appears regularly on Argentinian TV and is a live wire on the air, though for this presentation she's relatively taciturn. Here is her rabbit salad with sage. The chef begins by butchering a large rabbit. The hind and front quarters are removed, then the rack is trimmed. The pieces go into a large pot of boiling salted water. Whole peppercorns are also added. Rough chopped aromatics, carrot, onion, leek, and celery are also added to the pot along with some parsley. The rabbit is cooked in the vegetable broth and when it's finished is left to cool in the same broth. What is essentially rabbit stock could be reduced and used in other ways. The chef removes the rabbit pieces and pulls the meat from the bone. The meat is placed in a tureen, then marinated with fresh sage leaves and crushed garlic. Also whole peppercorns are sprinkled on.
Then the ingredients are covered with a good quality olive oil. The terrine is covered with plastic wrap and refrigerated for 12 hours. The plate features mixed greens dressed with a vinaigrette that features a 14-year-old balsamic vinegar. An emulsion is created using olive oil. There was a little salt in the bottom of the bowl. A little of the balsamic vinegar garnishes. Hawaiian native Alan Wong has some serious credits from the mainland. He apprenticed in Greenbrier, West Virginia, then worked in New York with culinary colossus Andre Soltner. After returning to the islands, he won the Beard Award for Best Chef Northwest Pacific. From his Honolulu restaurant, he cooks ginger-crusted onago with miso sesame dressing. First thing we want to do is heat up the peanut oil. and. You want to heat up the peanut oil to just smoking. While that's heating up, you want to add uh, freshly minced ginger. This is really easy because it's a one to one to one ratio of green onions or scallions to ginger to peanut oil. <clears throat> and uh, season this. It's really important to season the, the ginger and the green onion before you add the oil. When you season it before you add the oil, it, it becomes well seasoned and you don't taste small little grains of salt. When you add the salt after you add the oil, it, it's not as flavorful and you taste the little grains of salt. So you can see it's starting to smoke here. and. Before it, you scald the ginger and the green onion. And you season with a little bit of sesame oil. You have to be careful, it's really hot. Now two dressings. The, we want to make a, a miso dressing and we want to make a sesame dressing and then we're going to combine them. Some Dijon mustard. And to this uh, we add one egg yolk. We add the vinegar. And we're going to add some peanut butter.
Minced ginger, sesame oil, and sesame seeds are also added. This is some uh, minced ginger, sesame oil, and the sesame seeds. The mixture is emulsified with some oil, then the miso mixture is started. This is white miso, and I just combine them together. So that's why I start off making two separate things. This is the sugar. Miso is fermented soybean paste. The vinegar, and some plain chicken stock. And this one's really easy. And you can use the same whisk. We're gonna combine these two. And really easily, we just combine the two. The chef starts the onaga. All we do is lightly season this. And this is uh, pretty typical of a lot of our fish dishes. What I like to do is just season this really simply with salt and pepper. And serve it with things that will enhance the flavor of the fish and not mask the fish. So when I say roast it, I, I cut the fish a little large. I want to sear it on both sides, and then I'm going to finish it in the oven. Now while that is cooking, we want to take the ginger scallion oil, we're going to drain off most of the oil, and we're going to lay that right on top of the fish. Bake at 350 degrees for about six minutes or until the fish flakes easily. And what we do is we take some uh, breadcrumbs, sprinkle that really lightly on the top, and we're gonna just put it in the oven. The fish is served on sauteed zucchini, snow peas, and yellow squash. Corn works really well. Otherwise, you can use whatever is your favorite vegetable. Your naga goes right down in the middle. Take a little bit of the uh, miso sesame vinaigrette. And uh, you can serve this just like that. What we do is we just add a, a little bit of basil oil, some black sesame seeds, and we just Top it off with some fresh, finely cut green onions. And that's it. There's a theory that the Viennese are only interested in a first course in order to get to the dessert. Accordingly, we now get right to it. Rudolf Svona, at the time of taping, was the pastry chef at Doe & Co. restaurant. He prepares figs presented on mascarpone cinnamon cream with crunchy parfait. Also, eine Pfanne vor, uh, chef Svona begins with a walnut brittle that will become part of the parfait. Sugar is caramelized in a hot pan. Und den uh, Zucker braun karamellisieren. Walnuts are added and thoroughly coated. The mixture is set aside on an oiled plate and cooled. Den 
Ich habe hier ein, Wa ein Wasserbad aufgestellt, einen Schneekessel, wo wir jetzt... Egg yolks, sugar, vanilla sugar and salt are combined in a warm bowl and beaten over a bain-marie. Vanillezucker. Etwas Salz. Salz hebt immer den Geschmack freigeben. Und das Ganze jetzt am Wasserbad warm kalt schlagen. Also zuerst warm aufschlagen. Das Ganze dann mit Alkohol versetzen. Mit Rum und Asper. Vom Feuer nehmen und dann kalt schlagen. Rum and brandy are added. Und noch weiter schlagen. Once thickened, the egg yolk mixture is beaten at high speed until cooled. Melted nougat is added to the cooled egg yolk mixture. Und durchführen. Walnut brittle, which has been cooled and finely ground, is added. Noch einmal durchführen. Das Obers. It wouldn't be a Viennese dessert without whipped cream. Here, Chef Swonar adds this staple in stages. Das Ganze durchziehen, dass die Masse leichter und luftiger wird. Restliche Obers beigeben. vorsichtig unterheben. Sie dann in äh, vorgekühlte äh, Glasschüsseln oder The crunchy parfait is spooned into molds and chilled for six to eight hours. Bis acht Stunden tiefkühlen. Ich bereite jetzt die äh, Cassis-Sauce oder schwarze Johannisbeersauce vor. Chef Swonar begins with a Cassis sauce. Black currants are combined with lemon juice and sugar and then brought to a boil. Etwas Zitronensaft beigeben und Kristallzucker. Einmal kurz durchrühren und am Herd. Whipping cream is combined with mascarpone cheese. Sugar, cinnamon and rum are added. Etwas Zimt. Und rum. The mixture is beaten until thickened but not stiff. Mascarpone, zimt, schaum, passen. The cooked currants are blended. Cassis oder Janis, schwarze Janis per Sauce. And then strained. It is set aside to cool. Und durchpassieren. Ich zeige Ihnen nun, wie man den Backteig zubereitet. 
The batter for the figs begins with white wine and vanilla sugar. Vanilla sugar. Salt, egg yolks, and lemon zest are added. Eine unbehandelte Zitrone und Zitronenzesten der Masse beigeben. So jetzt das Mehl einrühren. Flour is added. Hier habe ich schon Oil and then beaten egg whites are added to the batter. Peeled figs are dipped in the batter and fried in oil until golden brown. Gut durchziehen, mit einem Löffel rausnehmen und vorsichtig ins Öl gleiten lassen. Ich habe hier die Kassissauce bzw. die schwarze Johannisbeersauce vorbereitet. Presentation begins with the Cassis sauce and mascarpone cinnamon cream. Die Johannisbeersauce am Tellerrand verteilen. Sie können dazu auch einen Plastikdressiersack nehmen oder einfach mit dem Löffel rundherum ziehen. In der Mitte der Mascarpone Zimtschaum. A canal of crunchy parfait is added, followed by the figs, which have been dusted with powdered sugar. Die Feigen in den Mascarpone Zimtschaum hineinsetzen, mit der Schnittfläche zum Gast, mit Mandeln bestreuen und mit einer Minze dekorieren. Und fertig sind die gebackenen. Auf Mascarpone Zimtschaum mit Kokantmarke. Okay.